Hey y'all, in today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing. So join me as we take a look at Bookshark Science Level C. First of all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name's Kayla. I am a homeschool graduate turned homeschool mom. I'm currently homeschooling my nine-year-old and my six and a half-year-old. I also have a 10-month-old baby who loves to interrupt Me. videos and homeschool lessons. If you ever want to chat with me, I'm always available down in the comment section here on YouTube. Or, or you can always reach out on Instagram. I definitely share a lot of our day-to-day -day homeschool life over there as well. Okay, guys, this is a giant box from Bookshark. Really quickly, before we look at what comes in Level C, I just wanted to chat with you guys about why I decided to go with Level C. So Bookshark has really designed their curricula to be used family style. They encourage you to use it with siblings of different ages, as long as their age gap is within a reasonable range. This is a really great option for me because one of the key components that I'm looking for in curricula is I want to be able to cover as much as possible with both of my girls at the same time. So I went ahead and looked at this chart that Bookshark has on their website that kind of helps you to see what level might work best for your family, for your kiddos. So from that chart, I was able to sort of narrow down my options, but I still wanted to compare a couple of levels and see what was actually gonna be covered because we are switching from one science curricula with a completely different scope and sequence to Bookshark that has its own scope and sequence. I just wanted to make sure that we weren't gonna be covering the exact same material that we had just covered last school year. Bookshark does offer these fantastic lists on their website that shows you exactly what you're going to be covering each week through all 36 weeks of any given level. So I went through the weekly subject list for level A, B, C, and D of their science. And as I was going through those lists, I just sort of highlighted any topics that I know we've covered in the past. What I was really surprised by is out of all four of these levels, there wasn't a single level where we had covered every single topic. I thought that was really cool because it shows me that this science curricula is covering a wide range of topics. And that's something else that I was really looking for in a science curricula. So box checked. Once I realized that we could go with any of these levels and still be covering new content, I decided to take the lists to my kids. Once they saw that level C was covering 11 whole weeks of zoology, that was a huge selling point. We've never really done a formal zoology study in our homeschool. And I really liked the way that they have set up learning about animals by habitat and also by continent. And my kids were totally stoked about the prospect of that zoology unit in our science this year. Some of the other topics covered in level C, specifically their earth science and botany, we have covered all of those topics formally in our homeschool. But level C is also doing a deep dive into the periodic table and the elements and Marie Curie. So we all agreed that level C had a really good balance of new material that we haven't covered yet and a few things that we are somewhat familiar with, but we could always use a review on. Because we're gonna be learning about animals by continent, I'm planning on tying in some country and cultural studies and some additional geography as we go through those different continents. So they do have this on a 36 week schedule for the school year, but knowing me and knowing that I plan on adding some more things in, we might end up stretching this out longer than 36 weeks. I just come to accept the fact that schooling more year round works better for us anyway. So if I don't finish this in 36 weeks exactly, that's all right. I'm so excited to see what is in here. So let's jump in. Okay, so the very first thing that we have is this beautiful Lift the Flap periodic table book from Usborne Books. I actually already have this book in our home library. It was the only book that I saw that came with the level that I do already have. So I'm probably gonna be selling this second copy or giving it away to a friend. Bookshark did give me the option when ordering this to select one of the books and let them know if I already had it, but for some reason they didn't have that option for all of the books. 
if they did have that option, I would have said I already had this one, but that's okay. It is a really awesome book and I'm super excited to dive into it because even though it's been sitting on our shelf, we have not really used it to its full capacity at all. So I'm super excited to be covering the periodic table. I'm so sorry if you hear my baby. She's playing with all of the crinkle paper. She's loving it. We got to do whatever keeps her happy. The next book is Marie Curie's Search for Radium. So this looks like a nonfiction reader. I know my girls will be super excited to learn more about Marie Curie. It's always fun for them to find out more about female scientists. The next book is DK Find Out Earth. This book looks super fun. It's almost like a little mini encyclopedia all about the earth. Lots of colorful illustrations, definitely geared to younger kiddos. Level C included two Magic School Bus picture books. So this one is The Magic School Bus at the Waterworks. And then the second one is The Magic School Bus Inside the Earth. We absolutely love The Magic School Bus. My kids have watched the old show, the new show. We haven't read too many of the books yet, so this will be really exciting for them to kind of see the characters that they're familiar with in these picture books. And also the books look chock full of information. So that is awesome. Okay, the next book is another nonfiction picture book. Um, this says it's a level two reader for science and it's called What is the World Made of? It looks like this is part of a series. On the back, they have a few level one options pictured and also level two options pictured. Okay, the next book that we have is another DK book. This one is from their I Wonder series and it is all about plants. We have another Usborne book. This looks awesome. It's called The Usborne World of Animals. The photographs in this book are amazing. I know my kids are gonna love this so much. It has sections based on the continents and it shows the different habitats that are on those continents and then the animals within those habitats. So that stack is all of the sort of reference books and picture books that are included with this level. And now we go into the curricula itself. So this is the Level C Experiment Guide. Holy smokes, guys. This is a really thick book. This book is printed all in color. It does look like there are some consumable paper activities in the book. So I believe this book is going to be our guide for all of the hands-on learning and experiments. And that is a huge reason why I decided to go with Bookshark. My kids have really been craving more hands-on learning and experiments in our science lessons. So I'm super excited about this. Next thing we have in here is Science C Experiments paper packet. And these look to me like the same consumable sheets from the experiment book. But I would need to open it up and be sure of that. But yeah, it looks like that's what that is. The next thing in here is the instructor's guide pages. And these are not bound. They are punched for a three ring binder. I do have a teacher binder that I use sort of off and on for like supplemental resources for our literature unit guides. I don't think that this is going to fit in there. So I'm going to have to up my binder game in the next school year and figure out how I'm going to store and organize all of this. I went ahead and bought an extra packet of activity sheets because we're going to be covering this family style and I have two kiddos. All of the worksheets that would normally be in, say, a student workbook are actually in the instructor's guide. So this extra set of activity sheets are just identical copies of the worksheets that are included in the instructor's guide. Your instructor's guide also has the answer key for all of these worksheets. Okay, the very last thing, a box within a box. This is our science supplies kit. One of the reasons I decided to go with Bookshark Science this year was because I really wanted to take some of the work off of my plate. Bookshark sends you every single supply that you're going to need for all the experiments, all the hands-on activities throughout a whole year of learning. And yes, a lot of these things might be things that you already have around the house. But if you're anything like me, 
the seemingly simple process of actually finding said household items and gathering them and organizing them and making sure that you have them readily available on the day that you need them, well, it's a lot easier said than done. So I really appreciate that I'm not gonna have to do that this year. I already have everything in one place. I do plan on storing these supplies in a somewhat more aesthetically pleasing fashion. I will probably use a bin or a basket. I'm not quite sure yet. I might repurpose something I already have or I might buy something new, but I just love that I have all of the supplies ready and at hand and already somewhat organized for me. I'm hoping that this is really going to take a lot of prep work off of my plate this year. All right, y'all, that's everything. That's Bookshark Science Level C. I'm gonna start figuring out how to organize and store all of this so that we can get ready to start this program in just a couple of months. If you're interested in seeing how I end up organizing and storing all of this, let me know in the comments below and I will try to work that into a future video. I'd also love to hear from you guys about what you're using for science this year. Have you ever tried Bookshark? What are you most excited to learn in your science curricula? I want to know all the details, so chat with me about it down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you'd be so kind, I'd love it if you gave the video a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye for now.